I do like I do like that the uh, this game brought back the whole oh you get more abilities as you go through the game. Um, but the Wii the, in the Wii version you have all of the abilities from the get go. I'm not sure if I what one I what method I prefer, but I really do like the throwback to SA1 or the adventure games in general. Because I really do like that idea where you have to explore for new abilities. It, it, not so much exploring in this game, per se, because you have to uh, get the... Uh, you have to get these upgrades if you want to progress through the game. Uh, like, not just extra missions, like, just the game in general. Um, so, it, it, it's kind of a bummer that they're mandatory, but the fact that they acknowledge that idea from the adventure games is really nice because I really love that uh, idea and I, I really do they they I really do wish they bring it back for another title maybe maybe fingers crossed for the 25th anniversary game uh, whatever they're gonna do with that <laughs> we re we really have no idea what to expect from Sonic Team uh, but I, I'm assuming all we're gonna get this year is at best a spin-off title because I'd I'd rather I'd rather have them spend most of their time and resources on the anniversary game um, and we as you all know we get an anniversary game every five years for, for Sonic so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, something at E3 maybe uh, but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't expect a game to come out this year, but who knows? They did it with colours, so like colours came out a year before generations. So it that they very well could do that. But I'm on the fence to i I'm gonna be on the fence saying it won't happen. Uh but hey, you never know. Uh but we'll we'll see. Anyways though. Holoska, Holoska Day, it is, I, I, I don't know if I'd call it my favourite, oh that was way too close, I, I don't know if I'd call it my favourite day stage, but it's definitely up there, it has a really good mix of platforming, uh, the speed, it, it, it feels so fun to play, like I, a lot of people seem to despise ice levels, a lot of the people I know don't like ice levels actually, but I don't know, I've always enjoyed them, uh, they put me in a good mood. I guess it's because of the general like Christmas nature of ice levels, but even still, like, they, 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 they've always held a special place in my heart. Like, I, like no matter the game, I always look forward to ice levels. Um, they're just a lot of fun to play in my opinion, but eh, that's just me. But yeah, I, I do like this bobsled as well. Like it, <laughs> It controls a little bit loose, uh, but yeah, kind of would ex you kind of would expect that. Uh, so hey, <laughs> but, uh, the, the controls aren't perfect; like they get perfected later on in colors uh, and in generations. But for this game, uh, for like a first attempt, they really nailed it. I feel like for the boost, the boost gameplay, like it, again. It's not like mind blowing, like it's it's not super Mario Galaxy smooth or anything, but for a first attempt at a new style, especially after 06, man, this is a huge uh, step up. Like seriously, but yeah, pretty nice level, really nice visuals. I really love the art styles in a lot most uh, most ice levels um, they just look the most appealing to me out of a lot of stage des uh, out, of, out of a lot of uh, stage uh, stages or whatever like you have your deserts your grassy fields and your hills your green hill zones and stuff like that and that they look fine don't get me wrong but I really do get a kick out of the uh, out of snow and ice levels. They, they just look so beautiful. Ugh. 
but yeah, um, it, the, the night stage is actually my favorite night level in the game though, so. Alright, so before, uh, before we go, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and do the, uh, stuff in Spagonia there, let, let's go back to Missouri, why, why don't we? Because I feel, because I feel it's time for us to do those extra missions. I believe every continent has at least uh, two to three uh, day mission day levels, and it has a, I think, uh, two two night levels at least, with the exception of Empire City, I think. Uh, but there, there's usually two night levels and three day stages. Uh, which is the complete opposite in the Wii version, but hey. Anyways, though. Okay, so I I can't I can't remember what which is Act Two and what's Act Three, but okay, I'm gonna gonna, gonna go up here and see if it's the right one. It's gonna be Act Three, isn't it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Got to the right one first. I, I don't know. I have a thing with trying to get to the, uh, trying to do it in chronological order or number or numbered order. Like that's that's just the thing, but of me. Okay, so this mission is basically w really wanting you to drift, but because it's so, because I suck at the game, and because and because the drifting is so unreliable in tight corners like this. Um, I just use I just use no normal movement. Uh, it usually gets the job done fine. Drifting is a mu is much better in colors. Well, I, d I don't know about colors, but in in generations, it's much better. So, I I don't know. It, it's just too. Ri I find it too risky to boost. Uh, not to boost. Uh, to just drift normally here. Maybe someone can do it, but not me. Not for me, bruh. Alright. Alright, I, no, I don't want to pay too much attention to the <laughs> medal count, because that nearly killed me by doing that. But yeah, this is a, a free lap stage. Basically, in some levels, uh, you have to go through the same area three times at each, each uh, lap. Every, well, every time you pass the uh, the the uh, starting line or whatever, it gets a little bit more difficult each time. Here, though, it doesn't really change. It's basically introducing you to that concept, and then later, it, a D. Oh, screw you, screw you, man. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it ba it's basically introducing you to this concept. Later on, it's gonna get crazy. I think it's even more than free sometimes. I could be wrong though. Like, in, in the last second to last continent, it gets pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, though, Act Three. Now they expect you to have the light speed dash here, but if you know how to go, if you go to a specific route. You don't have to bother, so let's -a go. I do kind of wish it told you like what I what abilities you should have in these stages, yeah, but it's nothing I would lose sleep over by any means. But it still would have been nice, you know. Uh, there we go. No, I want that medal. Oh well. All right, doing well. Okay, doing crap. Do do. I re I don't know if I've talked about this yet, but man, that music. Just, I love the music in this game so much. So much. Oh, okay. I didn't even. I'm not familiar with this uh, route, so. 
Okay. Yeah. Pretty pretty short act. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're listening, they're playing a really bad rendition of the World Adventure theme. I don't know why I got an E there. That was like, what? Seriously, man, what? I don't think I did that bad. Come on. Oh, well. Uh, let's see here. Let's get the hourglass. And now let's, now let's do the extra night stage. Yeah, I'm do. I, I like like I said, I'm doing these because I think the extra stages are really really neat. I I get a kick out of playing them, so yeah, I decided, yeah, why not? I'm gonna show off all the main main stages, the extra stages, and the DLC stages. I don't know. I just I I just feel like I want to do that, like because it, it, it it's like it's uh, it's it, it's a treat, I guess for you guys. Um, if you want to just skip to the next actual stage, by all means you can do that. But I just, I, I just like going through, going through all these acts because I don't see a lot of people do that. So I thought, hey, why don't I just, why don't I change things up a little bit? You know. All right. Now, if I get the this sun medal here. Well, if I... I don't know what triggers it, but... Wait, what? what? Okay, that random pot. <laughs> if you break that, these guys will come. And they'll go right near the edge. And they can fall, as they just did. As that guy just did. Alright. You can get points from them, so try not to... Try... It would be better for them not to fall off. Anyways, though, this can be really nerve-wracking of a stage. Uh, basically, most, uh, pretty much all this stage is doing tightrope walk, well, not tightrope walking, but you're going, you're pretty much doing this throughout the whole stage, and you don't want to be too risky. Like, you can't, you can afford to jump over some pits, but it, it wouldn't be recommended, because... If you try jumping in this in this place, half the time you're just gonna ask for death. So, like doing this alone is really risky. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Okay. And this spike thing here doesn't really help me. Ugh. The worst part is, is that you can't, uh, you can't afford to fall off what's You can't afford to fall off whatsoever, because you can't grab onto the ledge. Okay, why do, I don't get why they show up after you break those pots. No, 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 okay. Try that again. Right, thankfully, it saves the collectibles you picked up, so I don't have to go up there again. Uh, all right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try jumping over. Okay, it worked. But again, I wouldn't recommend it, man. Just yeah. okay. All right. All right. So yeah, you you wanna make sure you. T angle the camera just right. Don't you, you really don't want to rush it here. Uh, unless you're a speedrunner, then it should come naturally to you, but if you're just a normal gamer like me, try and take it as slow as possible. No, that that might sound like that might might sound like a, a blasphemy considering Sonic, but trust me, you don't want to go fast. 
I only got one side summit all left. I think it's over there. Yes, okay. Okay. What the hell? Why were you screaming? Like, what? Okay, now we got this guy. Uh, first scene in Spagonia Night, and now he's in a bonus stage. If I get a D, I swear. I swear, man. The game is not nice to me today. Alright. Get some stuff. And there we go. Yeah! What the hell does crush mean? Like, does that mean just... Crushing objects or crushing opponent, crushing enemies. W what is that exactly? <laughs> I don't know. Oh well. Anyways, that's it, it for Missouri. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go all the way back to Spagonia, and I believe we're gonna do another day stage. So, yeah. Look forward to that. Or, uh, Mr. Pickle is gonna just tell us to go somewhere else. Yeah, we'll soon find out. Actually, I, I, I wanna say he's gonna say go to Chunan Night. I'm pretty sure he's gonna say that. Hey, we'll soon find out. Junan Knight is definitely one of the weaker. Uh, no, I would I wouldn't say weak. I do like Junan Knight. It's it's incredibly short though. Um, especially if you take the shortcut. And even even when you're going through the stage for the medals, it's pretty pretty dang short compared to the other stages. Um, but yeah, I I I I do like this. I do like the level, but man. Is really really short. Okay, so let's go to him, shall we? See what's see what's uh, on his mind, I guess. Oh, cucumber sandwiches and Gaia manuscripts. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> he's probably thinking about cucumber sandwiches at the moment. So let's go. Oh, hi. I wasn't expecting you here. Oh, okay. What is it? Hey there. Alright, well, we're getting... He's getting close to saying, like, oh. Well, he's getting pretty close to uh, letting us buy stuff from him, but at the moment, he's not, he's not gonna, he's, he's not gonna get, do it, so. <laughs> he basically it does it over time. Like, I, I, I'm not sure how many times you have to meet him, but I think it's at least three or four, and then after that he'll, he'll open up the shop. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, that guy upgrade uh, charges up the camera's flash, and so does the professor. Let's talk to Amy. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> goodbye. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so let's see what the prof where we need to go. I do kind of wish we didn't have to do this. It it it, can't, it does waste unnecessary time. So, uh, yeah, I just yeah, the, 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 the. okay. You have to go to Chunan. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. I I I'm not a fan of having to go back to Spago the professor just to learn. Like, oh, you can go here. This is where you have to go next. I really would have preferred it if the game just told you with the whole shining thing because like whenever you have 
whenever you have to go somewhere, the in the world map, a continent shines up. I kind of wish it just did that all the time and not have, not make it so you, you have to go to the professor for him to say, oh, you have to go somewhere else. Like, it's, it's just pointless in my opinion. But, eh, whatever. Okay, so now we're gonna go to Chunan Night. Um, I I really do like the music here. Like I said, the, just they they experimented a lot of the soundtrack in this game. It's like it 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 they explore a lot of music styles. Like you have, uh, I I don't know what, how to explain it. They they just diverse to make the. The soundtrack is just extremely diverse, which I love, and it's just great to listen to. Anyways though, we can't go to the stage hub world until we talk to this, uh, lady. Welcome to Chunan. Well, I was wrong. So, if we didn't do that, this guy wouldn't. W uh, this guy wouldn't allow us through. So, yeah, you need you need to talk. You need to talk to Lynn. I think it is. Like she's right. Like just down that pathway, so you can't miss her. So, so yeah. And she she never changes her posi position, so you don't have to. None of the villagers change their position in like a second play for or something. So that isn't something you need to worry about. Um, get out of the tree, please. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I I not I really don't remember the moon, sun and moon medal locations in this hub world um, I, I don't know it just doesn't it never clicks with me like th this hub world in particular I really don't remember where half of the stuff is uh, like I can remember where most of the stages are but not the medals like for some reason they just never click I never remember those so yeah Alright, so go over here, there's a moon medal, yeah, again it rewards you for explore exploration, which is something I love about hub worlds, and it, it's something, it's why I wish hub worlds would return, because it gives you something to do, in, instead of just playing actual stages, like, if you wanted to, you could go to the, the night stage right now. You don't have to do any of this stuff. I just choose it because I like exploration. And and by exploring, it gives you stuff. Because you went out of your way to do it. And I really love that. But I think there's something here. Uh, apparently not. Oh no. I, I, I swear, I thought there was a moon. A moon. Well, a medal there. Oh, oh well. Right. There should be a medal there. Or a radio. A videotape, rather. Not a radio, what am I saying? But. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back. Yeah, most of this stuff we have to collect with Sonic. So. Let's just go, shall we? Uh, this, uh, as you can see here, it it lag. The game uh, slows down the most. I want to say in this hub world compared to any other hub world in the game. Just that was weird. Can I get up there? Uh, <laughs> Looks like a medal, but 